getting ready to go to uh gotta load this truck to get rid of all this stuff this is copper uh i don't know i might get some money for it i don't know whatever it is this is uh this was this, this was a job the air conditioning job with f um i think it was them star some some kind of air handler but they went with the first company uh, they had an air conditioner and they also had the coil for heating look at this thing was in the in that unit for maybe 20 years they never used it 10 20 years they still got the plug look they never used the heating coil so you know the water goes in it don't matter which way the water goes in but the water goes in one end and come out this way so that's what they use up here in the northeast uh, for heat. I know down south they use, instead they use electric, but over here they use hot water. So the hot water goes through here, coming from the boiler and goes out to here. Look at that, that's, that's what's in that unit for 10, 20 years. They never use it, brand new. They never, they never hook, hook it up. They only was using the air conditioner. This is another one over here. And this one, I put a first company, air handling, hydraulic, everything. I took this one out, big master. The one I put in, it wasn't, it wasn't that big. So again, this is a heating coil. It looked like a, for air conditioner, but the water goes in, see, it's, it's like a one inch. Water goes into here, three quarter. The water, water goes in over here, boom. Go inside, heat up the coil, and comes out this way. Sometimes you get a temperature, put a temperature sensor over here. So when the coil reach 120, the blower will kick in. That way they don't, in the winter time, they don't get that, that they get slammed with cold air. So it's a sensor over here, yeah. And uh, that's how they do it. As soon the coil fill, it, 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 it get the temperature 120, 180, close the contact and let the blower know the, And then over here in the back, that was a small unit right there. Place that. Small, small coil. That this, this, this was air conditioning over here. Uh, this was condenser for the condenser unit. Now, that coil right there, the one over there, they got a TSV and I don't know, maybe I keep that for myself, really. Because I, I got an R22 in my house. This is an R22. And, and really, there's nothing wrong with it. They, customer just decided to go the whole new unit, the whole job. But uh, really, there's nothing wrong with this thing. Um, I was wondering if I could pressure, I just play with it right. Maybe I'm gonna keep that one. The other one side is junk, so rusty. That was, that was a leak. That was a leak right there. I don't know if you guys see this. Yeah, that was, it was a leak in, the, in that side over there in the corner. I'm gonna get rid of it. And this was for the ream unit. Uh, I believe R22, yeah, R22, yeah. So. It's weird, right? Because they got the TSV right there on the top, but it looked like it also got an orifice there. Look, maybe they took off. Maybe they took. Maybe they took the orifice out down the bottle there. Weird. But you know, I might keep that, I might keep that coil to play with it, make a video, see if it leak or not. Suck it in one of those bucket of water. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta keep loading. I got about a whole bunch of coil condenser. Load the truck and then tomorrow I'll take it around to the dumpster. I'll probably get rid of all this stuff. It's, it's getting crazy, you know. My wife is killing me. Get that stuff out of the backyard. Get all that junk. 
I don't know. I think I get, I get some money for this stuff. So I'll find out tomorrow. All right, Rolly. Later.